It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and it's the radio segment that accidentally took the wrong kid home from daycare, uh, but is too embarrassed to bring him back. Uh, so, he's, he's just going to raise him anyway. Yeah. You're mine now. It's COVID Sanity. If you haven't heard it before, COVID Sanity is where we talk about some of the funniest and strangest news stories going on during the pandemic, like this one. A customer demanded a refund from a store in Minnesota the other day, okay. saying, quote, I ordered a dozen custom masks from you. Uh-huh. However, you only sent me 12. <laughs> when the store no. employee told them, no. um, sir, a dozen means 12. Oh, oh no. They yeah. said they've never heard of that as oh. being 12. <laughs> Instead, really? they thought it was pronounced dubzen. What? Like a dub, what? as in 20. What? Oh, <laughs> the logic. He just... ordered a dubs in <laughs> masks. I feel like that should be a new measurement, though. <laughs> you know what? How many do you want? Can I get a treacle? Yeah. Can yeah. I get a treacle of those? I'm making up words now. You might remember a story we did a few months ago about a guy from Vermont who flew out of Montreal before the pandemic and left his car there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then he wasn't allowed to cross the border to get it back. Right, so it just been sitting for yeah. months and months and months and months. Racking up fines, yeah. yes. Well, it's been been over a year oh, and no. recently he made a deal with a US Canadian citizen to drive it back to him. Oh, okay. he, had to find he someone. just he just found someone yeah. finally. And he mailed her the key and this past wow. weekend she drove it across the border and he's finally been reunited oh, with his car no. after an entire year. That could have ended badly. It could have. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I imagine they like filmed it like one of those YouTube <laughs> videos of soldiers returning home oh, from yeah. overseas. Oh, no. And, and he's this, like running in slow motion. Yeah. The car's jumping up and down, excited. They <laughs> just embrace. Real tearjerker, that one. Oh. <laughs> also, there's a guy that invented a free online tool called Zoom Escaper. Okay. Where if you're on a Zoom call with someone and you need an excuse to end it, the Zoom Escaper gives you a list of sound effects that you can play. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, my God. They have stuff like a crying baby, dogs barking, construction noises. No. You can make your voice have a lot of echo on it, so it sounds like you're having technical Ooh. difficulties. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. No. Feedback. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> they even have a man weeping sound. What? What do you need that one for? Is that <laughs> real enough as it is? I, it's like, oh, sorry, Ken. There's a man weeping here. <laughs> Got to hop off the call. Who's crying on Zoom again? (laughs) (laughs) Gotta go check. We're doing another edition of COVID Sanity. Finding the not so serious stories happening during the outbreak. Like this one, a judge recently ruled that a bar in Burbank, California that keeps violating COVID rules should have its doors padlocked. So what did the owners do? They removed the doors. Oh my God. Wow. (laughs) Your move, Judge. How do they lock up at the end of the night? I mean, come on. <laughs> they, they don't, so now they're permanently open. Okay. okay. Doesn't sound like it's going to cause any issues whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Great solution. Yeah, like their liquor license pulled. Uh huh. <laughs> Meanwhile, a restaurant in Denton, Texas, is adding a fifty dollars charge to people's bills if they have to explain why masks are mandatory <laughs> in the store. Uh- Love like that. a service fee? Yeah. Like, this is awesome. I'm going to just personally do that at the coffee shop. You should. <laughs> and they, should. they should distribute it like it's a tip. Yeah. Staff. And it's $75 if they have to hear why you disagree with that. Oh! Yes. oh I love it. Genius. Ever since they put that on the front of their menus, the owner of the restaurant says they haven't had any issues. Shut up. With wow. any customers complaining That's or not wearing genius. their masks. That is crazy. Crazy. It could be that so, they haven't had any customers, so there's no complaints coming in, too. I don't or know. It could be that all those people actually knew why masks were important to begin with and didn't need the explanation. No, That's I, too no? obvious, okay. Brooke. Sorry. Sorry. Just a thought. Also, you may have heard about a few side effects that's correlated with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Yeah. They talk about that in the news quite a bit. But now some patients are trying to blame all sorts of things on it. Including <laughs> breast enlargement, Whoa. sunburn, what? genital herpes, wait. and random moaning. <laughs> okay, wait, hold wait, on. Wait. People are saying that those are side effects of the vaccine. Okay, so I did hear you right. Yeah. Oh yes. my <laughs> Just check God. It. So I got the AstraZeneca's vaccine and I got double D boobs and a case of the herp. Right. Is what you're telling <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. There's all couples right. all over that's like, honey, no, no, you got it wrong. The moaning in the bedroom and the new herpes, that was the vaccine. Uh... <laughs> Okay, and the $30,000 bill from the plastic surgeon, nothing. That was AstraZeneca. (laughs) And 
finally, a Florida couple named Amanda and Thomas Evans moved into a new house in Cape Corral right before the pandemic started last year. Okay. Mm. So immediately after they moved in, the lockdown started, and they said it was a different experience than most first-time home buyers because they weren't sure when they'd get to meet their new neighbors. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. And so they came up with an idea. Every weekend, they sat out in their driveway and encouraged their neighbors to come and stop by by putting up a big sign that said, free beer. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> and Thomas wasn't sure if anybody would show up. But once the free beer sign was placed outside, Uh-oh. neighbors started all venturing over. <laughs> To meet the new neighbors. You start to feel used at some point. Like, yeah. one day of free beer, okay, you meet people and then you want to see them again. But you have to do it every weekend? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but they say it's a great icebreaker for anybody new to a neighborhood. Just offer Good free beer. Yeah. You'll be the most popular person on the block. I love it. For real.